Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another RawRacing.com asset review video. Today we're diving into a really useful little system that adds a whole new layer of polish to your leagues and games. The Camera Spectate System. Whether you're running a competitive league, hosting events, or just want to let players watch the action unfold live, this script has you covered. It's a clean, lightweight tool that lets players click a toggle button, see a list of active racers, and start spectating any one of them from static cameras that you have placed around the map. So let's break down what this actually offers. First off, it uses cameras that you manually place around the track or map. The script then finds the camera closest to the players you're watching and automatically snaps to it. From there, the camera tracks them in real time. It even adjusts the field of view dynamically based on how far away the camera is, so it will zoom in when close and zoom out when far. This zoom behavior is even customizable. If you would rather it zoom out when close instead, that's just one setting to flip. Now this is where our asset stands out from everyone else's. If you click a player's name a second time, the camera switches to an onboard mode. It locks the camera just above the player's head or anywhere you want it to be. Then it follows the player just like how an onboard camera would work in real life. It gives your players or your spectators a really immersive experience. And the UI, it's simple but dynamic. When a player joins the game, a new button for the character is automatically created. When they leave, their button disappears. All the buttons then are arranged vertically in a clean and smooth looking layout. So let's go over how to install this in your project. First, head to rawracing.com and go to the marketplace. The link is in the description as all. Search at rawracing.com and find the Spectate system asset and hit download. Once you've got the folder, open it up, extract it, and take the RBXM file located inside the folder into your studio. Next, open the Spectate system by rawracing.com folder, drag the Spectate Camps folder into Workspace, and Spectate UI into Starter UI. Once those are in place, you're good to test. Hit play, open the Spectator UI using the toggle button, and click on your own player's name. The camera will snap to the closest part and start following. Click your name again to switch to the onboard view, which hovers above the player's head and follows where they're looking. You can always change the FOV and position of this onboard view camera through the settings. That we will check later on in the video. Lastly, when you're done spectating, just hit the toggle again to return to normal gameplay. With that out of the way, let's dive into how this actually works and how you can make it suit your own needs. As mentioned before, this system works with parts. So if you want to add more cameras, you just need to add more parts in the Spectate Camps folder. You can name them however you want, as naming does not matter. The system just snaps to the closest part it finds. All you need to do after that is adjust the parts position and place them where you think is necessary. If you want to further customize the system, open up the local script that is located under the Spectate UI. I have carefully placed all the values that you might want to change at the top of the script, and I have also added nodes for each and every single value. But let's really quickly run over them. You've got minimum and max distance. These control how far the player can be from the camera before the zoom starts changing. Then there is minimum and max FOV. These adjust how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera gets. Smaller FOV means a tighter zoom and a bigger FOV gives a wider view. Default FOV is what the camera resets to when you stop spectating. Again, adjust accordingly. Camera part transparency is just there for debugging. Set it to zero if you want to see your camera parts in your games. Set it to one if you want to make them invisible. Now for the second click feature, the onboard view. You can customize the camera's position around the player's head with offset X, offset Y, and offset Z. These change the angle of the onboard shot left, right, above, or behind. Tweak them based on how your car models are built. You can also change the offset camera angle using the offset angle values. Once again, tweak them to suit your cars. Offset FOV controls how wide the onboard view is. Higher values look faster and more dramatic. Lower values are tighter and more focused. And finally, zoom in on close. If this is set to true, the camera zooms in when the player is close. If it's false, it does the exact opposite. Zooming out when close and zooming in when far. Depends on what kind of look you want, so feel free to experiment. Everything is tweakable, so you can fine tune the feel of spectating to match your style, whether it's cinematic, competitive, or casual. And that's right around everything you need to know about this asset. So let's wrap it up. If you want to try the system out, as we said, head over to the Raw Racing Marketplace. We also drop new assets there every week, so you might find a couple of things to your liking. And if you're stuck or want to request features, hop into our Discord. Again, the link is in the description. That's it for today, though. Ladies and gentlemen, do stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.